Sulfuric acid is the most widely consumed commodity chemical in the world, with global demand totaling over 230 million tonnes last year. Not only is sulfuric acid a high volume industry, its consumption is also spread across a wide range of individual end uses, each being driven by very different market fundamentals. Consumption of sulfuric acid occurs in the production of phosphate, nitrogen and potassium based fertilizers, to the production of copper, nickel and uranium via acid leaching, and then in hundreds of individual industrial sulfuric acid end uses, such as water purification, paper manufacture, pigment production, along with the extensive use in the wider chemical industry. It's not only the demand side where industry is diverse, only 65% of the market is supplied by voluntarily produced sulfuric acid. The remainder coming as a byproduct of base metal smelters. So sulfuric acid very much holds the position as an intermediate point in the processes in which it's involved and never as a final product. As a result, the decision to produce or consume sulfuric acid is always a consequence of the market dynamics of another industry. A copper smelter is forced to produce sulfuric acid in the process of making copper. Even a sulfur burner only produces sulfuric acid in order to feed an end use process such as phosphate fertilizer production. So this reliance on the market dynamics of other industries driving supply and demand for sulfuric acid places Crew in a unique position to analyze this market. Crew has product teams analyzing primary market dynamics of all supply and demand routes for sulfuric acid. Crew's analysis of sulfuric acid requirements for fertilizer production is a direct result of the analysis done in-house by teams focusing on phosphates, nitrogen and potash industries. The sulfuric acid supply and demand from base metals production is assessed on the merits of each of these metals industries in turn, with sulfuric acid consumption or production a consequence of these conclusions. Therefore, sulfuric acid production from a new copper smelter is included in our forecasts because Crew's copper analysts consider copper production to be viable, and not purely because sulfuric acid production is viable. Even sulfuric acid consumption in the highly disparate industrial sector is driven by the views of the global economy from Crew's in-house macroeconomics team. In Crew's sulfuric acid mar market outlook, Crew forecasts new sulfuric acid production and consumption capacity using a structured project gateway system. The system assesses projects and progress using milestones in financing, construction, raw material supplies and off -take, product offtake agreements to form a conclusion on the likelihood of projects being commissioned within a given time frame. Crew's sulfuric acid analysis is not only supported by product-specific teams, but also by analysts at Crew's international offices based in London, China, India, the US, Chile, Brazil and Australia. The result of Crew's breadth of in-house market coverage is a robust and comprehensive forecast which takes into account all of the many factors which are truly driving the sulfuric acid market.